Hi friends, so just wanted to show you what I'm doing today. Just making double-ended uh, coat rack out of uh, some railroad spikes. So two inches from either end, I use some soapstone, make a mark, throw them into the forge, get them nice and hot. model like what I like for the shape that I keep here. That way I know I'm getting roughly the same angle so that more than one will match because when I do a coat rack I can put you know either like a three or five or six whatever however many hooks onto the board. So I do the one bend Throw it back in the forge. And then get it ready for the other bend. Getting the double bend, I can either throw in a bucket of water, or in this case, the snow. Okay, then once they're cooled off, I put them in my vise for my drill press, and get my holes drilled in so I can then mount it to a backboard that'll be what I put up on the wall. two holes drilled <laughs> then I just do a whole bunch of these at one time so I've got a pile here uh, that then I'll clean up with my wire wheel and then I'll be ready to put them onto a board all right guys so we'll show you that next Alright, so just wanted to show you guys I'm at the next step. So I took the bent and drilled railroad spike, uh, cleaned them up with the wire wheel, so got them all cleaned up. So then I'm just playing a little bit with whether I'm going to go with a 2x12 um, with a shelf so that then there's a place to put some gloves or something um, above the coat rack or i can do it with a two by six and then it wouldn't have a shelf and do that and then i'll probably uh, use a little propane torch and do like a burn on the wood just to darken it a little bit and then clear coat it
All right, guys, so just wanted to show you real quick. I just used a one by two, even with the bottom, and just butted all the spikes up against it just to create um, an even spacing. Uh, of course, the hooks aren't all bent exactly the same, but it's a rough look. Um, so rustic and just turns out pretty nice. And I'm just using inch and five eighths uh, sheetrock screws to mount these on here and should be pretty solid. So thanks for watching. Okay, so here's the finished product. So I think it turned out pretty good. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment.